Hey everybody, what is going on today? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Um, today we're going to be working with the Magic Eraser tool. And that can be found in the Eraser section of the tools. If you click and hold down, we've got the Magic Eraser tool here at the bottom. Hotkey is E. The Magic Eraser tool works a lot like the Paint Bucket tool, and it's kind of like has the opposite effect. So with the paint bucket tool, you can click and it adds color to the image. With the magic eraser tool, you can click and it takes away color from the image. Let me put this back at 100 because that was the default. So if I click in this sky, it's going to take this color from the sky. Way too much, way, took way too much color out of that. Let's try to mess with our tolerance here so I can show you. And you can, with enough tweaking and everything, you can take out certain colors of your image. So I just got to end up bringing this down and tweaking this more and more until I can get the correct uh, color going on here. So um, this is kind of close and then I could go if I wanted to I could go in, ahead and put a new whole new color in there and that's like kind of like how the that's how the uh, magic eraser tool works. So I'm gonna go back to the magic eraser tool real quick and bring our sky back in here. So we've got a couple of options up here and tolerance uh, you should know by now if you've been watching the, the tutorials it, it's the uh, amount of color range that you're going to be erasing so a low tolerance takes a low range of colors so there's a whole bunch of different colored pixels in this sky and I'm taking a range of 30 pixels going from each side of the color that I selected. Now, anti-alias here, you want to have that checked to create a uh, visually softer erase. So yeah, it smooths the edges. We've got uh, contiguous here, which um, when you have this box checked, it selects the adjacent pixels within the document. Um, when you have sample all layers checked, if you have multiple layers on here, it's going to tra treat it like the layers have been merged. So it's going to treat it like a composite document in which you can click anywhere and it'll take from any of the layers that you have on there. So if you have, if you had just this image here with no sky and then another layer with a background that's a sky and um, you just clicked on any of the layers while you have sample all layers checked, it'll erase from any layer no matter what layer you're selected already. So that's uh, pretty much how the Magic Eraser tool works. It's a lot, mostly it's just uh, messing with the tolerance, getting the tolerance that you need to uh, erase this, and basically just fiddling with the tolerance a lot. So if I was, if I like finally like fine tweak this and got all this stuff out, I could use my other eraser tool, my background eraser tool, and I want to only erase um, this blue here that's around the sun so I can keep on erasing and just work keep on work on work on that then uh, I can have like some really nice looking images if I take my time and go in and manually erase some of the stuff that I don't want anymore so all that's uh, comes like the, the tools, they all go hand in hand, the eraser tools. You can use the regular eraser tool to do the, some rough editing and then the magic eraser tool as well to do some rough editing and just you can use the other ones to go in and do some uh, fine tuning where you need to. So that's all I need to show you with the magic eraser tool. It's basically like the paint bucket tool but it does the opposite. It takes away color instead of bringing in color. So thanks a lot for watching this tutorial, and I hope you uh, learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.